In this video, we're going to take a look at something that's not directly related to Ruby on Rails, but it has direct application within Ruby on Rails, and that's using the Scriptaculous JavaScript library to create some fancy GUI tricks inside of Rails. Now, in the prior video where we introduced Ajax or Web 2.0, we used the effects method, a JavaScript method, to actually make that text area appear and then it showed in a yellow and then yellow faded out. That was a scriptaculous effect. We're going to take a look at some other effects that are out there. We can look at demos here. And the first thing we'll look at is the combination effect demos. And again, all of these are directly accessible from little helper effects inside of uh, Ruby on Rails. So here's an appear. Here's a fade out. Here's a blind down, blind up, switch off, and we have a shake effect. So there's lots of little effects here. The one that we used was that highlight effect. You can see it there where it highlights in yellow. We have a pulsate effect, a grow effect, and a shrink effect. So those are different effects, the graphic effects that you can apply to your Ruby on Rails application to your divs or whatever elements inside your DOM to really enhance your Web 2.0 application. This isn't strictly Web 2.0, that really is more to do with the communication between the server, but this certainly makes it fancy looking. Uh, there's other things that we have. Uh, there's the auto-completing type of text fields. So let's type in some names here. So it goes and does a round trip, and there's several different demos available on the web, and I'll include those in our working files, where it some links to different Ruby on Rails ways of implementing a auto-completion. This is a very simple one in their database that they have in the back. And actually, it looks like they are using Ruby on Rails for that particular one. So there's lots of things that he can do with regards to auto-completing fields, that type of thing. Another thing is uh, you can have drop and drag field or lists. So you can see I'm dragging these lists up and down and changing the order. Again, that's very easily implemented. And in Ruby on Rails, again, I will have links for you. There's actually a way quite straightforward that you can connect that changing of your list order into your database model so that your model of a particular element will control how that list is sorted in the future so you actually can store that sort for people. The last one I wanted to look at here was where you can drag from one list to another or back again and then change within that list and this is all done with JavaScript. What Ruby on Rails what you buy with this is storing this in some kind of environment in your database specifically or I guess you could do it in in your session if you'd want but it's probably best to store it in the database connected to whatever this list of like in our movie example we could have a list of movies that we change the order over that type of thing. So that's a little bit more fancy GUI tricks that Ajax or Web 2.0 makes possible for us.